I'll explain why I got this piece because let me tell you, I never used to like it. Hi my loves, welcome back. So yes, I hate to admit it, but I'm in love with this Van Cleef & Arpels piece I'm going to show you. Anyway, I have missed you guys. Oh my gosh, this year has been the year I've gotten so sick. So I recently got back from Vietnam and yes, Vietnam vlogs are coming and I just caught the worst cold I have been like bedridden. But I'm finally better. It was nice to actually get out of the house. Got my nails done, got my lashes done. So feeling good today. So today's video is going to just be a quick reveal of what is in this bag. It was a gift from hubby to me for Mother's Day. Let me tell you since, you know, we're talking about Mother's Day, what I am wearing today because my amazing kids got me this dress. They know I have really been into brown. It's like a maxi dress, well maxi on me because I'm not that tall. And I just love it. It's so easy to wear. It comes with a belt. I will link it below if I can find it. But the kids made me breakfast in bed. Miss S is the best at making crepes. I love crepes. Crepes and maple syrup or crepes and, you know, lemon and sugar. Those are my faves. So that was nice. Then we went to my mom's and just celebrated with her as well. So Miss S and Sunshine actually went shopping together, which is always nice. I love when they spend time together. But yes, they got me this gorgeous dress, which I know I'm going to get heaps of wear out of. And funny enough, it kind of goes with this whole video theme. And then on my ears, I am wearing Chanel vintage jewelry. You guys know I haven't really been buying any Chanel costume jewelry for ages now, but I do love their vintage jewelry. It's just, I love the bolder designs. The gold's like this really yellow gold. It's a clip-on. You'll find that the vintage designs tend to be clip-ons, but personally, I like that. So yeah, definitely do have a look at Chanel vintage jewelry. And then they both wrote me the cutest cards. It was very thoughtful, very sweet. And I love this dress and it's gonna go perfectly with, let me show you. So if you haven't already seen, my last vlog was a Van Cleef & Arpels shopping vlog. So if you haven't watched that, I will link it above. And I showed some of the new collection and it's been a bit since I've been into Van Cleef, but Van Cleef is one of my favorite jewelry brands. Anyway, uh, of course, you know, I'm not gonna show you everything, but I will reveal price, the receipt. It comes with the authenticity booklet as well, of course. And, oh, my essay didn't give me a cleaning cloth. That's okay, I'll ask him for it next time. I love Van Cleef polishing cloths, but I wonder if they've stopped that because I told you a while back that they changed their packaging, but um, I still prefer their old packaging. So my amazing essay, James, still gave it to me in their older packaging. I'm not sure if different countries have switched over to all the new packaging. I've actually got an example to show you. So this is the older packaging, this is the newer packaging. When I say new, it's been quite a few months now, but it's just that the newer one comes like with the ribbon attached already. And it doesn't come with the box. It just comes with, uh, you know, I used to get this as a separate travel pouch, but that's how it comes now. So anyway, stop blabbering Mel. I still opted for the old box while they have it. And let me show you what this is. So I'm very excited because, yeah, this came in and my essay was like, Mel, this is a rare piece. Did you want to consider it? Because I have been waiting for a particular item and it still hasn't come in, but that's okay. When it comes in, it will come in. And yeah, I just love just the classic box. There's something just more luxe about it. Not that packaging is everything, but you know me, I love my packaging. Anyway, in here, I don't know if you could guess from the last vlog, but I ended up getting dun, dun, dun. Oh my goodness. They're beautiful. So this guys is the Van Cleef & Arpels two motif lucky Alhambra earrings. Honestly, I used to hate anything with butterflies. 
Like I love butterflies, like in general, you know, I love Mariah Carey. I don't know, butterflies just always remind me, remind me of Mariah Carey, her song, you know, the late 1990s. She was like the butterfly queen. And I just remember when my previous essay used to show me anything butterflies, I was like, nah, I don't like it, don't like it. But I love the two motif earrings. I actually own this one and it looks like this. And I have worn this so much to weddings, with denim, all occasions. And this one's got the tiger's eye and the carnelian. If you've never considered the two motif, I highly recommend you consider it. I love a good dangly earring. Anyway, so this I have not seen in the boutique for a couple of years now. And when they came in, I was very grateful that my essay thought of me and I'm like, I'm not sure, let me, you know, come in and I tr to try them on. Anyway, I tried them on and I was like, it is so cute. So let me put one on for you and show you. So I forgot to even tell you. So then this is in White Mother of Pearl and this is in Tiger's Eye. And like I've mentioned in my previous videos, I've done Van Cleef and Appel's collections. All the stones will have different variations or different striations and that is not a fault. That's just the beauty of the stone. Anyway, I'll take this one off and just quickly put it on for you. And for those of you that are not aware, the Van Cleef earrings, there is a right and a left side. And so it's very easy to know which one to put on because the clip sort of points to that direction. So let me put this on and show you what they look like. So I'll take this one off too. If more of the Alhambra collection came in different color stones, I would get it. But I don't know why it's so limited but that is what they look like. I'm just looking at myself in the viewfinder. They kind of go with my dress, right? Sort of like a neutral thing. But honestly, this goes with everything. Tiger's Eye is actually such a neutral stone. If you think about it, it's in this beautiful caramel sort of shade or neutral goldy shade. It goes with all my Hermes gold bags. And yeah, like I said, I've never seen it in the boutique for ages. And you know what? I, lo I love butterflies now so much that I'm even considering in that vlog, I also tried on the two butterfly collection and I'm really interested in the earrings where it's got turquoise on one and it's like an asymmetrical look. Turquoise on one and then it's uh, parve on the other. So it's supposed to be mismatched, but I thought that was so cool. And if you can get your hands on these, they actually go with so much more. I no already know I'm gonna get so much wear out of these. The only thing is that with the two motifs, it's going to cost a bit. So let me share with you the price. So this is in Australian dollars. So these two motif earrings come out to 11,900 AUD. So yes, very expensive, but everything has gone up so much. And I just wanted to show you my little Van Cleef and Arpels earrings collection because out of all the categories, I would say I wear my earrings the most. So you know me, I love my magics. These are my favorite in the green malachite. Again, if these came in more colors, I would get them. I would, I really regret not doing a, cost, a special order in this when I had the chance, but now it's like, I can't do it because uh, you have to spend a lot, but maybe one day. And so I own the magics in the green. I also own the Magic Alhambra in the White Mother of Pearl. I mentioned this in my recent jewelry video and one of my most used earrings, and this is the Frivol. So you're sort of seeing a pattern. I love bigger earrings, like bigger studs, or dangly because, yeah, I think this was the second piece I got, so that's the two motif. Yes, Mel even <laughs> the three motif. This one is not as wearable daily and it slightly does get slightly heavy, but I love it. No regrets there. And I do own a single vintage. I would say this size is the most popular. Well, it's the same size as this, but this is in the white gold guilloche and I just love the sparkle. I'm considering the gold, but I probably don't need it. But this size, I would say, is the most popular. And of course, it does come in a little tiny sweet size, but I don't own any of the sweet earrings. So this is adding to my earring, my Van Cleef & Uphill's earring collection. And I couldn't be more happier. What do you think? You know, sometimes as you go on your 
exploration of a brand. You might start off saying, you know, I don't like that, but you know what? Just be open because things change. Like even with Hermes, when I first started with Hermes, there were certain things I didn't like. And now I'm finding myself saying, oh, I hate to admit it, but I kind of love that. Sometimes things just grow on you. And sometimes you don't realize how much you like it until you just try it. So my best advice is just to try it and explore different sizes. Don't just think, oh, I'll just get the vintage size. You might love the magic size more, or you might love a dangly pair of earrings. So I love it. I am obsessed with Van Cleef. As you know, I've been kind of on a jewelry kick at the moment, but yes, very, very grateful that hubby got these for me. And of course that the kids actually went out shopping and got me this dress and that is it guys it's just a very very quick unboxing of the couple of items that i got for mother's day and i just want to show you since i since i do have it here in the next video i will be giving away this gorgeous chocolate brown bag. I told you I really have been loving chocolate brown and I actually own this bag already just in the bigger size. This is the Demelia Vancouver bag but this is just in the small size but it fits a phone and all your essentials and I just think it is so classy. Gives me sort of Constance times Celine box bag vibes. So I can't wait to give that to you. Uh, I think that will be the next video coming up. So look forward to that and don't forget to subscribe because yeah, I'm still planning to give away as much as I can. So guys, what do you think of these? I would love to know, what is your favorite stone from Van Cleef and Arpels? Oh, that's another thing. Just because you think, oh no, I only like the black or the white, the onyx, don't be afraid to try the color. But if you want to know like uh, the pros and cons and a review of all the stones, I've actually done a video on that. I still get asked a lot of questions about that. So I have done that, I'll link it above. But that is my short little video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fabulous day or night and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.